This one, Iona, without Rick Patino. Remember, Patino put them in the NCAA tournament. They lost in the opening round to UConn. Uh, they were feisty against UConn. They had a great year in the MAAC. Patino has now moved on to St. John's. This is Iona against Charleston, which was also an NCAA tournament team last year. Charleston, uh, if I'm not mistaken, help me here, they, they gave San Diego State all they could handle on the opening game. So interesting, these two teams square off at uh, Charleston here in the opening game of uh, the season for both. Matty Cox, you have the handicapping play with Charleston laying seven, the total 151. What do we like in this one? Yeah, we like the favor here going with Charleston. Um, it's just a, a matchup between two phenomenal coaches. I think people still have the glow of Tobin Anderson in mind taking over for Rick Pitino. He's a great coach, but no one knew what they were doing the first two months of the year, three months of the year last season, and they were um, – putrid defensively to put it lightly and I think that's part of just the personnel that he assembled at FDU you look at this roster he has here he has more size than Iona but I think with the way they play it's going to be more of a work in progress on defense and he's talked about that so far in the offseason so it does feel like a big number just at the you know on the surface but playing Charleston with how nuanced and how complex that offense is Pat Kelsey's scheme especially in the first half which is my specific angle here I'm taking the first half uh, minus three and a half a new discombobulated defense trying to pressure, kind of disoriented. I think they um, get punched in the mouth on that end the first half here. I think Charleston, even though they have plenty of new pieces to integrate as well, um, I think Kelsey's scheme is really kind of the key edge factor here. So I'm looking to lay it here with the uh, the Cougars of Charlietown. And interesting for the Gales of Iona, again, Patino got them back to respectability. He then took the St. John's job in the Big East, and he took several of the players from Iona with him. Of course, the transfer portal is now just a revolving door of players going every which direction anyway. But it's not my point is it's not the same Iona team that won the league title in the regular season and obviously the tournament title and made the NCAA tournament. So it is going to be a little different in that regard. One more philosophical question here, Matty Cox. The first half versus uh, the full game. Colby, to, uh, uh, Corby, excuse me, took a full game earlier. What about your philosophy on why the first half sometimes stands out to you? Yeah, I took both actually, just full transparency myself. But I like the first half, especially because when you're seeing an offense like Charleston for the first time, very different, very unique. I think a coach like Tobin Anderson could actually make good adjustments in the second half, maybe erode some of that value on the full game spread. So I think it's just that first half, first 20 minutes. Where Charleston comes out, they've been known to start fast. We saw last year they actually gave up a lot of leads um, late in conference play. Um, I think that trend kind of continues this year, especially again against that Iona defense that's going to be playing vastly differently than how they played under, under, under Rick Pitino. Um, so, yeah, I think they look a little bit out of sorts to start the year. What, what is this from Pat in the live chat who says the guy goes on a bachelor trip to Chucktown in the offseason right. and now he bets Charleston right off the bat something to think about? the city is there anything you want to share this is a safe space here on bet us tv anything else you want to uh, share you about know in this terms no? of the what what transpired on that voucher trip i can't actually i, I signed a, <laughs> an nda so i can't talk to what to what went down but you i, I can't say that i fell in love with pat kelsey in the city nor so. deny what went on on that bachelor trip but he will confirm let's lock him in on uh charleston and a first half line here pay attention peeps maddie cox officially on charleston and the first half line laying three and a half in the game with Iona. Corby, did you have any quick thought here before we move on on this game or on the line, or you want to move on? Yeah, two really quick things. First, we hit 100 viewers on the live chat. Day one of the show, that's awesome. Keep going, uh, keep going. In the back, it says we have 50 on X. If you're on X watching this, uh, hit the retweet. It helps us a ton. We'll be here every single day uh, for all of basketball, which is the most strenuous season that there is, uh, breaking down 113 games. So, Appreciate everybody watching. Um, for this game, I completely agree with the first half angle here. This is an Iona team that gets a new coach, great coach, don't get me wrong, new coach and four starters that are new. So uh, if you're going to have a hiccup, when would you do it the very first time you have to face other competition? So uh, I do agree this is a really good Charleston team that does have turnover as well, but we've seen them kind of bake out a factory of good basketball players. So uh, don't worry too much there. I think the first half angle is a really good one. I uh, feel pretty good about our first two bets to start the season. Love that.